Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary Channel, which is the build 27764.1000. Of course, in the Canary Channel, we have a few new features, few new changes that we will talk about, of course, and some fixes that are provided by Microsoft for this channel. And in this video, as always, we're going to cover all that. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in the start, menu Microsoft will add jump lists for apps that have them of course such as Microsoft Edge or Office apps notepad and so on so as you can see these jump lists will allow you to browse through recently opened or closed files pages websites and so on if we're talking about a browser I think this is a pretty interesting and nice addition in the settings app of course we're gonna get this new banner which says no dynamic lighting compatible devices is detected if we don't have a compatible device and Microsoft is also adding some more effects to the dynamic dynamic settings page. Related to input, Microsoft is beginning to roll out a change where they hide the IME toolbar when apps are in full screen mode for those who have the IME toolbar enabled and type in Chinese or Japanese. Related to narrator, Microsoft have added new functionalities to narrator scan mode which you can use to skip past links, jump to lists, and more. You can check more about this in the article below or on the official Microsoft website if you're interested. They also improved the speech to text and text to speech experience in Windows when you encounter it of course in apps such as narrator, voice access, live captions, live translations, and voice typing. As found by Phantom of Earth on Twitter, we're also getting the updated battery icon in the latest Canary build, and this icon will also turn red once a low battery level is reached. And I think it's also a pretty interesting change, but I'm not sure if it really goes so well with the design principles of Windows 11. But of course, I'm looking forward to seeing your opinions in the comments below. Now let's talk about a few fixes. For example, Microsoft fixed an issue causing some insiders to see a bug check with error code page fault and non-paged area while using using their PC starting with the previous build. Related to the File Explorer, Microsoft did some work to help address an issue where File Explorer might hang when browsing a folder with lots of media in it. Related to Taskbar and System Tray, Microsoft fixed an issue on secondary monitors for left-aligned Taskbar users where the widgets text in the Taskbar might overlap the date and time. Related to Input, fix an issue where if pointer trails were enabled, the mouse cursor may become invisible with a black box behind it. Related to the Task Manager, Microsoft fixed an issue where some HDDs were incorrectly listed as SSDs on the performance page related to display, fix an issue which could result in lag and screen tearing on secondary monitors with full screen windows, and one other fix, fix an underlying issue which could lead to Excel sometimes hanging on launch when opening certain files. There are also a few known issues that we know from previous builds, but you can check those out on the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day. Okay.